have to work on your production, man. Fade it out. Don't, well, never mind. Hey, you're listening to Radio 1 Chicago here on 88.7 FM uh, on uh, Radio 1 Chicago. We're talking with Hip Hop hip hop Theory here uh, for a few more minutes. Uh, where, where did you grow up in the city? Um, I was actually a weekender. So I grew up mm. um, in Hanover Park, um, which is a, a northwest suburb. So I would be out here for the weekends with my dad and then... You know, spring break, winter break, summer break. Um, but I recently moved back to the west side, you know, after forever in a day. Mm. But um, so definitely been around Chicago my whole life. Um, definitely just love it. I travel a lot for work, my current job. Yeah. And there's no place like it. I've been all over the country. And, you know, they just they have that brand recognition, if you will. Like everybody knows Chicago. I've been to Puerto Rico and they know Chicago. And they ask me if I know their cousins. I'm like, look. <laughs> I ride down the vision, but I don't know everybody over there. Like, so, it's like, I don't live in Humble Park. Right, I, I, right. I, I stay by it. Right, that's it, that's it. So, yeah, but I, I just love it. There's no place like Chicago. Exactly. Um, what is it? Uh, what, do people know that you are you when you're when you clock in? Like, do they recognize or realize who you are and what you've done on the music side of things? Or well, you know what? Now they do because um, I just get real out there with it, blatant. I bring T-shirts to work, and you know what I mean. The the outsource teams that help us, they bought shirts, sweatshirts, CDs. Nice. They love it. They rock with me. Um, I recently had a, a meeting with you know managers and all that, and just let them know, hey, I'm I was in the Chicago Tribune, and they were like. <laughs> Like, what? How that happen? I was like, well, I do music. I do hip hop. You know what I mean? And um, so they were just like, wow, they couldn't believe it. I was like, go figure, because I'm just so mild mannered at work, you know, getting my Clark Kent on. Yeah. And then they have no idea that I leave and I put that cape on and, exactly. and grab that mic and, and it just totally changed. Yeah, they're like, y'all need jingles written? Like, what's going on? <laughs> right. Like, you know, no. I could do that. They don't want to come up off the money. I've asked for me, and they, <laughs> they're not giving it to me. They're not going to sponsor Fury. So I don't even waste time. Like, I need to be part of this marketing. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, right. Uh, so you got Black Magic, the, the EP. You're hoping to drop it in the spring. So we're, we're really excited about hearing about that. Uh, do you have any guest features, or is it just all you? Like, what uh, can people expect? Um, I do have guest features. Uh, shout out to Chai Tulani. Um, he's yes. on there. We got a track called "Never Should Have Count Me Out," and it's mm. so dope. When I heard the the song, I started writing to it, and I definitely got this Wyclef vibe and coming to find out he's opening for Wyclef um, on April 15th I believe it is yes he has been getting it getting it I'm so proud I met him like two years ago yeah I'm at Tonic Room we had a show together and um, just to see his growth as an artist you'll, absolutely you'll never see another performer like him just the energy the the singing it's, it's just beautiful so um, he's on there and then I have uh, some more features on the album um, Miss Abyss uh, she's from Since Seventh. They're a uh, married duo, okay. and um, we got a song called Karma that we're working on. And that's about it as far as the features, because really it's only a six song um, EP. So the rest is just me getting it, doing my thing. Nice. Uh, and are you uh, self producing yourself, or are you still working with other producers? Um, well, I, I work with other producers. Um, the track that you just heard, the Do Me track, is from um, Seven Odds. Oh, uh, uh, that them, yeah. was that was Dream Tech right there, and he did a whole compilation, Friend Chemical, show, yep. yeah, Chemical Reaction. So I was so proud to be on that project. Um, so I definitely work with producers, and right now I got a band, and they make my music um, off this Black Magic um, EP. So it's just I'm always looking for music. So producers definitely hit me up, let me know. But um, I'm very very picky with my beats, and I got producers who can't <laughs> stand me because they're just like, "Come on, Fury, get on it." And I've had them. I had some people be like, "Well, uh, you're supposed to test your skills. You know, you should be able to go on anything." And I was like, "Excuse me." <laughs> That's my excuse me. <laughs> and I was just like. That is not true. Like, you get what you get because I love the beat. You know what I mean? It has to be something that I want to kill. You know, it's just, so I, it just can't just be anything just to, you know, satisfy your need, you know, right. for lyrics. So, exactly. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we, we love Dream Tech. He looks oh, like, he's awesome. He looks like he never sleeps. Because he, he's always working, <laughs> recording, and he's one of the best mixing, mastering, doing it all. He does, does videos. So, I definitely love the Seven Eyes family. Oh, yeah. I, I missed out on their last, um, uh, Tony Pondagonia had his release party over at the, the new bomb shelter, and I missed it. And I was like, <laughs> Right, yeah, I was out of town too because I definitely would have would have swung through shows. Yeah, they, had, love. they had Epinatas, and I was like, Man, I was like, God, On like, deck. <laughs> like, I wanted to go, missed it, but yeah, I, I owe them a visit for sure. But thank you for play, playing, uh, paying us a visit here on Radio 1 Chicago. Um, Tell us everyone how they can keep up with you uh, when the album drops, where they can find it, all that good stuff. Okay, well, like I said, the um, EP should be out. Um, 
this spring, probably late spring, and then we'll have a release party sometimes, um, probably June. Um, you could definitely keep up with me at uh, Bandcamp, well, furyhiphop.bandcamp.com, furyhiphop.com, um, all social networks, Fury Hip Hop, F U R Y H I P H O P. There you go, a little, yeah. little brand tip, the tip there. Make keep sure it all the same. I'm keep it all you, consistent. People got lazy minds, man. They just want to be like, what? Fury hip hop, fury hip hop, drill it in their brains. But it's work. It's I, work for me. I mean, no diss, but whenever I like someone is like, yeah, it's like this on Twitter, then it's like with a number three, right? Like, underscore Instagram. dash, you know. It's like, no one has your name, <laughs> right? Who are you again? So, but thank you so much for having me. No, it's thank you for coming by uh, as well. We got more uh, Radio One coming at you, so stick around right here on eighty-eight seven FM. WWW.